Okay, class. In the previous lesson, we looked at the importance of carrying out fieldwork in secondary schools. But we should not forget that fieldwork is associated with a number of problems and challenges. Yes, fieldwork is loved by both the learners and the teachers. However, this fieldwork is faced by a number of limitations. Number one, illiterate respondents. Some respondents may not read and write, and this definitely will affect the method the learners will choose to use. For example, if the learners chose to use questionnaires, interview, and the respondent does not know the language the learners use, this will be a problem. Next, uncooperative respondents. Some respondents are not cooperative at all. They even refuse to respond to some questions. And this happens especially when the respondents doubt uh, or have no confidence in the researcher. Next, inaccessibility of some areas of study. Some areas of study may not be easily accessed. They might be very remote and learners fail to reach. Hostile and violent respondents, tribes. We have societies in Africa which are not welcoming. Instead of uh, hospitality, they give hostility. Uh, they are more hostile than they would be hospitable. Harsh weather conditions, for example, too much sunshine, too much rainfall, will not favor the conditions that would have allowed students or learners to move freely, to observe, interview, record. For example, if there is too much sunshine, learners may not climb hills to observe the local environment. If it is raining, and these runners don't have umbrellas or raincoats, it becomes a problem. Dishonest respondents. Some respondents are dishonest. They don't even keep secrets, and some of them provide false information. Hostile relief. Relief which may not allow is a movement of runners to some points where they can stand and observe. Or this hostile relief may not allow uh, vehicles to penetrate. Language barrier. This is very clear when the respondent and the researcher do not have a common language to use fieldwork could not be easy, especially for methods like interview and questionnaire. Fieldwork is expensive. This is in terms of transport and terms of tools to use, like buying cameras, umbrellas, tape measures, hiring vehicles, paying entry fee, etc. Poor responses from the authorities. You may ask permission from authorities like school authority, police, and other leaders, you may need to consult and they don't give you attention or they delay you. Unpredictable situations like insecurity, landslides, floods, and very many others. A poor choice of the methods of data collection. Uh, a student together with a teacher or teachers together with learners may choose a poor method to use, which will not allow them achieve their objectives. You may choose observation when the appropriate method would be recording or interviewing 
or questionnaire, there you will not get, you will not achieve all you want. Field work is time consuming. If a teacher gets too much involved in taking runners out for field work, he will never finish the syllabus because it covers a lot of time which the teacher would have used in class to cover a lot of content. Thank you.